For today's video, we're going to do a special CSI version of Mousetrap Monday. We're going to test out a product inspired by techniques used by criminal investigators to solve crimes. And this product could help you permanently solve your rodent problem. It's called Rodent Tracker or Rototrack. Now I first heard about this product from a YouTube viewer named Mark. He sent me an email wondering what I thought about this product. And because I never heard of it before, I contacted the company and got the mouse and rat version. What we have here is a cardboard box shaped in a triangle. Now you notice I'm wearing gloves. That's because inside this box is a fine white powder. Now also inside the box is a fine wool. And the reason there's wool inside is based on a story from the Armani suit factory. Supposedly at one time the factory had a rat infestation, even though there was no food, nothing for the rats to be attracted to except the wool. Rats and mice really like wool for nesting material. So instead of bait to eat, they use wool for the mice and rats to crawl in. And this wool is completely covered in the fine white powder. That way you can use a black light to track them back to the source. And once you find where the mice and rats are entering where they live, you can block up the holes and keep them out forever. It's a really clever idea. If you turn the box to the side, you can see the powder glows like a fluorescent light. And inside right here is a hole. You punch that open. Now first I'm gonna get my pet mice, see if they go inside, cover their fur. Then we're gonna go set this up in the barn and see if we can track mice and rats. Let's go get our pet mice. Let's see if our black pet mouse will go in the rodent tracker. Ooh, she pooped on me. Good thing I'm wearing gloves. It's like a nice soft nest in there, but when she comes out, her fur is completely covered in the powder, she'll leave a trail. I'm gonna turn the lights off and turn on the black light. Well, she likes her nest box and she doesn't want to come out, but when she did come out, she left a trail of dust. As we set this up with the wild mice, we'll be able to track where their home is. We'll go put her back in her cage, then go set this up with motion cameras and do some CSI work on the wild mice. I have the larger rat version of the rodent tracker set up in the barn. Tonight, the rats and mice will go in there, get that powder all over their fur. Maybe they'll take some of that wool back to their nest. We can track them, see where they're living, where their nest is. Maybe there's a hole we need to block or set up traps. Now some of the powder spilled out. If you turn on the black light, you can see it just glows. Hopefully in the morning there's a trail coming and going. I have two motion cameras to see what's going on. I'll set one up in the front and one on the side. That way we can see how many rats and mice come. Oh, I got some of the powder on my hand. I need to go wash that off. When you turn off the black light, you can't see it at all, but it's all over the place. Bet you can leave fingerprints. Yep. Let's set up the motion cameras and see what happens tonight. Last night I set up the rodent tracker in the barn and both rats and mice came and pulled the wool out. Now you can't see anything in the dark, but if you turn on the black light, it's just glowing. At the opening of the rodent tracker, there's powder everywhere. There's a really nice trail going down this wall. That's where the rat went. But if you look here, smaller trail where the mouse went. And what I thought was really interesting is right here. The mouse stopped, lost some powder as it jumped into the pipe. So that mouse is going down the pipe. Maybe it's living in there. That's good to know. Now let's follow the rat. Here's the rodent tracker. Look at this trail. Make a turn. And there's the door. And right there is the hole where the rat is going. I'm surprised how well of a trail the rodent tracker left. And you can't see any of the trail if you turn the black light off. But if you turn it on, you can see the highway. 
Rodents survive by keeping a low profile. They're very good at hiding. They're usually nocturnal. And for every mouse or rat that you see, there are many, many more that you don't see. And if you set out the rodent tracker, you'd be amazed how they're crawling all over your stuff. They're pooping, they're peeing, and they can carry disease. So identifying the access points and sealing off the holes is critical. If you want to know the best way to seal off a mouse or rat hole, I posted a video on that. I've actually posted over 500 videos on YouTube, and I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to deal with mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, foals, and gophers, stay tuned.